Oh, I don't want to go any further that way because I feel like Will might pop up and try to kill us. So we got three Pokemon. We got Bloobs, Escaflone, and Princessa. And it's only been, what, an hour? Less than half an hour? I don't know. Definitely taking this time. I really gotta go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, I think this is where you can get Farfetch'd or Mr. Mime. That might be beneficial because it's a, it's someone else's Pokemon, so the experience would go up faster, and it still means I get the one Pokemon there, and I haven't run into run into anybody yet. Let me go forward and see if is this Viridian Forest right here. It is. Okay. So, like, that's if this is what I'm thinking of. What does it say on my map? Does it still say this counts as a new area? Is this Route 2? Yeah, I don't remember if there's a Farfetch'd or a Mr. Mime over there, but one of those would be kind of neat, right? Well, in that case, I don't want to run into that grass right there. I think I'm fine. There's probably just, like, a Pidgey or something or... In that one, and I'm okay with that. Rattata. I think I'm okay with that. Rattata may be small, but it's bite is wicked. Did you get one? Huh. You shame me for just making fun of Rattata, huh? Are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oop. Preemptive boom boom. Was there anything else over on this side? I don't remember... Negatory. I'm surprised I'm not finding any Pokemon. Yet. I remember when I was younger, I used to get Nido, uh, Nidoran, female or male, as soon as I could. So my goal was always to get Nido Queen Or Nido King. I just love those two. I think the first time I ever beat, I think it was Pokemon Yellow, I had both of them, and I think I was able to get both of them to be Nidoking King and Nidoking Queen. I'm not sure if that's possible, but at least that's what I remember in my mind. And that's how I beat the rest of the game. I beat the Elite Four like that. With my Nido, Nido awesomeness. I might be doing all these leveling things, and then I skip ahead to a point where it doesn't even matter because I have got to... Uh, future area where I leveled up more. I didn't. I didn't, and I cut out other spots that made any sense at all. But I'm gonna. I'm doing it anyways to catch myself. Cause I think it's fun to see the level progression up there. If I run into anybody else, I'd still have one potion. I would not really enjoy to use it though. I still haven't run into Pokemon yet. What is going on here? <laughs> I, th I think I can still take on at least one more person. Before having to head back. And I have enough antidotes to be safe. Look at this! Nothing! I'm not getting any encounters. Another potion! Good! There it is! Okay, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Weedle! Sure! Let's go Thone. Go! Weedle's pretty weak. Might have Princessa go out there. Oh, we don't, does Weedle have Poison Sting already? Is that what kind of ruined my day? String Shot, that's totally fine. I'll take that. Alright, Tackle! Yeah, one damage. One damage. Okay, I can do that at least one more time. Don't Poison. Thank you very much. Okay, that's plenty good, I think. Pokeball! Come on, Weedle! One! Dang! All around, I haven't missed a Pokemon, Pokeball yet. I used to catch legendary Pokemon with Pokeballs, <laughs> just to have that satisfaction. Hmm. 
Look at that little weed over there. I mean, I think it has a big red nose like that. I like that. It has a sharp venomous stinger on its head. Yeah, do. Weedle, weedle. How about? How about, how about Russell? It looks like like the Russell in the bushes. Isn't that how it's spelled? Well, that's what we're going for. <laughs> all right, who is first? And do I want them as first? No, because no one's gonna kill Sclafone. That's for sure. But I needed, I need, I need Russell to get more experience. Hey, what up? What's your number? A bug cat you want to fight. Tin that weedle. Oh, nine weedle. <gasps> That's pretty impressive. Ow, oh, I think I just broke a nail on my toe. Go, Esclafone! Yep, cracked a nail on my toe. That's a great way to start off an episode. Can't really do anything about it. All right, Gust. I like it. Critical, critical. Knock him out. Knock him out the box. Loop. Knock him down. That's not knocking him out. That's getting very close to knocking him out. But you didn't get poisoned, so I'm proud of you, Spiffone. Is that how you spell Escaflone? Looks like it just says Escaflone. Yes! Good job, Russell. That's it? I like it. I thought there was a lot more difficult battles in here. Okay. Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move called Cut. You'll find it eventually. Anything in the tree? No. Alright, where is this now? I think this is where Mr. Mime is, which is also Route T. Okay, good. So I can't catch any Pokemon here. Yeah, this little patch right here, before we get into our next city, which is uh, obviously called... Pewter City. So this is where I cat... I, th I think this is where I cut Nidoran both types, female and male. Both genders. I think this is where I did it, and the yellow version. And then I leveled them up in here hours and hours and hours. But I can't do that because I want Mr. Mimer Farfetch'd maybe or something like that. And I don't really feel like getting another Radita or something like that. I've never ran. That's a mouse, I think. Ooh, the Jigglypuff! That is a safety hazard in there. Alright! People would fall asleep on their jobs and overheal my Pokemon. Burn them alive or something. Dicky, you Pokemon a fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Creep. What? What'd you say to me? This might be the first town where there's actually some goodies to find. Pokemon come easy to catch when they are hurt or asleep, but it's not a sure thing. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some must be taught as the trainer. Is there a mart in this town that has potions? That'd be great. How many serious Pokemon trainers here? They're all like bug catchers, but Peter Jim's Brock is totally into it. Into bug catchers? Hello. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? I'm spraying repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. I don't know if you know this, but Pokemon don't just appear like that in this world. Did you check out the museum? No. Really? You absolutely have to go. 
Ah, uh, the Mart is right there. What are you taking me? Don't. What are you doing to me? It's right here. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. Smell you later. Anything over here? Are there any items? Secret items? Secret items? Secret items? Secret items? No, that'd be kind of hard to find. Ah, oh, there's a gem. Let's not go there yet. Although Squirtle has Bubble and I could easily take him out. On second thought, I might just go in there and take some potions with me. I can't even afford a potion. Ooh, escape ropes would be good. For caves and whatnot. Does this take you to Pokemarts? Of course they don't tell you. Hmm. I don't need a Pokeball, but I do need another potion at some point. Should I fight Brock with my school? Oh, they usually have preliminary battles beforehand. So I can level up Russell. Get Squirtle out and knock out the other people with Squirtle, maybe? I wish I knew what the gym levels. Hi, I can tell you how it takes to become Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the top of the... the oh, shoot. This is not helpful at all. Tutor Sisty Pokemon Gym. Peter, the winning trainer is Will. Aw, oh, man. My brother's already been here. Okay, we should be able to take this guy on. Stop right there! You're still light years from facing light years. I hope... Like, distance-wise? Because distance-wise, I'm really close. Level 11. So this... This is gonna be a battle. But Bloobs can take it. Because there's nothing Diglett has, I believe, that can knock Bloobs off Bloobs' feet. And you're gonna pay for scratching me in the face like that. It's super effective! I might have to use some potions. Right, one more should do it. Damn, that Diglett's scratching me like crazy. Critical! <gasps> bubble, bubble, bubble. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Russell gained 93. Russell grew level 5. Bloobs gained 93. Bloobs grew level 10. Heck yeah! No. Because I don't I don't know about Sand True here. I do have to use a potion on myself. I might have to use two potions on myself. But it's better that than lose Bulbasaur. Ow. Bubble! I just can't miss any of these bubbles. You've got to be on point today, Bloobs. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Bloobs. That's how you do it, Bloobs. Level 11 Bloobs. I have to look at the levels. I forgot who leveled up there. Darn! Light years isn't time. It measures distance. Is that like a fun fact? What the heck? You're pretty hot, but not as hot as... Rock. What? Alright, from what that battle has shown me, is that I'm not quite ready to take on Brock just yet. Just kind of a. It's kind of lame. I'm even more afraid for this next portion that has a bunch of people. Has a bunch of them. Uh... Yee! Potion! I wish I didn't have to use that potion against Will in the very beginning of the game, but I wanted that experience. Really wanted it. So if my memory's uh, my memory's right, I think that Brock, the gym leader, only has two Pokemon. 
It's like a Graveler and an Onyx or something. So, I don't see that being an issue. However, for some reason the number 17 is popping in my head. I don't know if that's for Pokemon or what I'm thinking about with 17, but if that is a Pokemon level, Russell's not going to be able to take him out very well. I mean, Squirt, or uh, Bloops. <laughs> I was trying to say Squirtle, but I said Russell instead. So I think what I'm going to have to do is go back to Viridian Forest, because so, I can't fight right here. I can't fight right here. Otherwise, I'm going to lose that chance to get a Pokemon. So I need to go back into the forest to fight, and hopefully not get poisoned. If I'm excited to do the Nuzlocke challenge for the next generation Pokemon games, I'm excited to know if there's gonna be shiny Pokemon I find. It'll be super duper rare, but if I find any shiny Pokemon, I can get some really cool stuff going. Because in the rules it says if you find, or one of the rule optional rules you can do, if you find a shiny Pokemon, I guess besides the red Gyarados, since you already run into that one no matter what, but if you find a shiny Pokemon, you're allowed to catch it, even if it's not the first one that you see. And you don't have to have that Pokemon permanently die, so that would be your one exception to staying alive. Which... I don't know the benefits of that yet, because I haven't had anybody, anyone on my party die yet. But it just seems like it'd be beneficial to have someone that can't die. What? Russell is evolving? Kakuna! Into Kakuna! Also called Russell! I need to go look at that so I can... Alright, let me make all my changes real quick. Go. We got Russell. Put him in a little hammock right now. <laughs> Looks like a Pac-Man sticking out. The bloops is poisoned. So on. on I need it back. I will return to grinding momentarily. By momentarily, I mean it's probably gonna be a whole different day and time before I actually come back to this. But so far, I am loving this experience. And I've only caught four Pokemon, but it's just, it's fun. I haven't played this in a long time, but this game's already fun. This new challenge is fun. I like it all. This is awesome. See you guys next time when we continue the Nuzlocke challenge. Thank you all for watching. Bye.